Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Gold. Guys, do you know how you can log in into a Scratch org from Salesforce One mobile application? What if you are building something in your Scratch org that is specifically for that Salesforce One mobile application or maybe you need to test your UI and test other functionality also like how it is going to work in a mobile application. So in that case, you need to log in into that Salesforce One mobile application. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can log in into the Salesforce One mobile application using your Scratch org credentials. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right guys, let's start today's video. So guys, uh, you might have a requirement where you have to build something specifically for maybe Salesforce on mobile application or maybe you're creating a responsive design which is uh, lightning experience enabled and you know, uh, maybe your clients will be using uh, your functionality using that Salesforce and mobile application also. So for that, you need to test that functionality and the UI if it is looking fine in that mobile application as well. And also like uh, there are few functionalities, you know, that depends on the mobile uh, device uh, only. Let's say if you're working on some kind of functionality where you're trying to get the location of the mobile device that is going to work within an application only i mean even though if you will open your uh, browser use uh, open a browser and uh, log in into a salesforce org that is not going to work in that case you just have to use the salesforce one mobile application i mean that is the only option to test these functionalities okay so recently i uh, saw a query on uh, our trailblazer community and i thought yes this is a good topic and i should share this knowledge with you guys so guys to uh, to use the scratch org first you need the scratch org credentials okay so to get the scratch org credentials guys you'll be using two commands here okay just give me a second let me just quickly okay so to uh, get your credentials first you need a command to get your username password and other stuff as well so guys, here we'll be using two commands. The first one is uh, sfdx force user display. Okay, using this command, we'll be basically getting the login URL, username and the access token as well. Okay, you can also, I mean, try login using the access token, but I would suggest you to go with password. So here you can see the username, the profile name, ID, org ID, and other details as well, like the login URL, and alas, another detail. And here, uh, as I have already generated the password, so that's why I'm able to see a password here as well. If you are, I mean, if it is a new scratch org, and if you are not having a password, then you have to generate it first, okay? To generate a password for a scratch org, you need another command. So first, let me just copy these things to my notes okay just give me a second as I have to use it from mobile then so that's why I'm okay I have copied it on another, another screen okay now to generate the password guys there is another command which is sfdx force user password generate so using this command, you will be able to generate a password for your scratch org. Okay. So this is the password for my scratch org. Now, let me just quickly copy this as well. Okay. I have copied it in my notes application. All right. So guys, you are having the username and password. Now, I mean, using these username and password, you will be able to login into uh, your scratch org uh, from your mobile application but it's still like there 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 are some configuration that needs to be done okay all right guys now i will try to log in uh, using my scratch org username and password from my mobile device using salesforce on mobile application and uh, also like uh, you can simply put a username and password in it but there's still a small configuration that you have to do uh, while using it okay so next i'll be uh, sharing the screen recording from my mobile device now all right guys so let me open the mobile application 
okay so this is the mobile application and i'm already having those credential in my notes so i'll be just copying that out so yeah this is my username let me paste it okay now let me copy the password so guys usually like whenever you have to log in into your scratch also you can just simply using the do it using the login as sandbox because like if you will do login as sandbox so I mean for the scratch org also like the login is same so basically while login you are getting two options like login is production or sandbox so if you would like to login into your scratch org then in that case you have to use uh, login in sandbox okay all right I have clicked on login and okay it is temporary down uh, this was not supposed to happen during this video okay let me try again okay copy paste the username again okay let me just paste the password now there might be some server stuff is going on in back end that's why I saw this warning okay let's try to log in again it seems like maybe some maintenance kind of stuff going on in back end yeah okay so now uh, I have received a security verification code on my email so let me just quickly put it down okay verification code is here all right cool okay now let's see like what is inside this org okay it is taking little bit time i'm sure like this is not due to the internet connectivity thing because like i know like i'm having a good internet here maybe yeah i doubt like maybe some maintenance or or sometimes i would say like this app the salesforce one application acts weird <laughs> okay uh see <laughs> that's what i was talking about the application act weird sometimes so i don't know like why it is showing the classic the browser view to me <laughs> maybe yeah sometimes this application is crazy man okay so maybe i can just log out or close this application and try to log in again just give me a second okay so let's open the app again okay we are having username here let me just quickly copy the password all right paste okay hello all these stuff and hopefully we'll be in the right talk now <laughs> oh yes so this is the home page of my application and as you can see like this is the proper view of a mobile application like a lightning one so you can see my app here the salesforce bold app is here and underneath that i'm having the notification page the last example i showed you so it was basically to display alert confirm and uh, prompt messages so basically guys you may use this application just to check like how the ui is looking into the mobile application and how the functionality is working like if you're creating a sponsor design so ui really matters a lot while building something because the user interface must look good and it should be you know easy to use and guys there's another way to use this functionality maybe if you don't want to use it as sandbox then in that case you may use this login url so if you'd like to use the login url then you just simply click on the top right corner of your screen maybe it could be a settings or the three vertical dots and here you will be able to see two options like production and sandbox and then you can hit the plus icon or create a new connection and then the host just paste your url and just give it a label like let me put like a couple scratch org yeah that should be fine so in that case guys uh, the application will be using your custom domain to get you login into this so now we are using our custom domain the login url 
and now like if you will try to log in using the same username and password again so yeah username then password okay yeah so using this also i mean we can log in into a scratch org using salesforce on mobile application like by default you may use that sandbox functionality like login in it as sandbox and if you would like to use the custom domain in some cases then in that case maybe you can just create a new connection enter your custom domain name and yep enter the username and password and hit the login so just hit allow okay okay this looks fine all right so this is also our uh, the same application the same notification app so guys using the same way you can access the salesforce mobile application and uh, test your functionality and also guys i'll be having all the stuff all the uh, all the steps on my blog also which is salesforceboard.com so if you need to check the steps you may just directly go to that blog and check check those things out okay so that is for today guys and i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll see you in the next one guys thank you for watching